Hi everyone, in this lesson we're looking to do an example involving velocity and acceleration as a function of displacement. So in the previous lesson we looked at a couple of identities and we found out that the acceleration is equivalent to v dv dx and that is also equivalent to d dx a half v squared. So these are all equivalent expressions for the acceleration. And so, yeah, we can use these, we can substitute these in for A wherever we see fit. So V dV dx and also D dx a half V squared. So we'll use these uh, to go about solving this problem. So let's have a look at it. The acceleration of a particle is given by acceleration equals 5 minus x. When velocity is 2, x is 0, so it's at the origin. Find an expression for v in terms of x. Okay, so what do we have? We have a equals 5 minus x. And now we need a term, we need an expression for v in terms of x. So we need to re replace the a with something to do with v. So what I'll go about doing is replacing the a with d dx a half v squared, oops, a half v squared, basically because this feels like a useful substitution. We need to get it, we need to get an expression for v in terms of x, and I've now, I've now generated a v, and also if I integrate both sides with respect to x, that will get rid of this here. So that seems like a useful substitution. So if I integrate both sides with respect to x, I get a half v squared is going to be equal to 5x minus x squared on 2 plus c. So we double both sides here. We get v squared equals 10x minus x squared. And we'll just leave it as plus c because it's still some arbitrary constant we haven't found out. So now we can find out that C by substituting substituting these things here. So when X is 0, V is going to be 2. So if we put those in, we will see that 4 is going to be equal to C. Because all the X's go to 0 and we square the 2. And yeah, so we'll get C as 4. So we can just write in 4 there. So that is our expression uh, for v in terms of x. But we can go one step further. We can take the square root of both sides because we should make v the subject here. So v equals positive or negative square root of 10x minus x squared plus 4. And yeah, so that is our expression. And considering our initial values, our initial point here, when x is 0, v is 2, that means that we're only going to be using the positive square root. So v equals the square root of 10x minus x squared plus 4. Because the negative answers are inapplicable. When x is 0, v is 2, so it's going to be the positive square root. Uh, so, yeah, that's how we go about getting an expression for v in terms of x. Basically, we substitute it in for a. The acceleration is equivalent to this thing. This seemed like a useful substitution because it generated a v. We wanted, a, we wanted to generate a v. And then we can get rid of this here by integrating both sides with respect to x. And we just substitute in to find the value of the constant. And yeah, from there, we just a little bit of algebra, and we end up with our expression for the velocity in terms of the displacement.